What could create nearly $2.5 billion in new ag exports and more than 22,000 U.S. jobs? Well, according to the American Farm Bureau Federation, that could come from the free trade agreements with Korea, Colombia, and Panama. President Barack Obama sent those agreements to Congress this week. Louisiana Farm Bureau Associate Commodity Director Kyle McCann says Louisiana rice growers would benefit most from free trade agreements with Colombia and Panama, and Louisiana ranchers would get a boost from the free trade agreement with Korea. These free trade agreements have been stymied for some time in that they were originally signed by our country in 2006 and 2007, the additional two were, were signed. So it's been held up in the political process, if you will, for some time. McCann says before Congress can approve those free trade agreements, lawmakers must first approve the Trade Adjustment Assistance Act. That's a program to offset any negative impacts a free trade agreement could have on other non-ag related businesses.